everybody's looking for new ways to organize all your content in Microsoft Fabric. You got reports, you got pipelines, you got notebooks, you got all this stuff. How are you gonna manage it? You got, you know, workspaces and folders are great, but uh, what if you're sitting above that and you're looking at it from the one like, or the one, uh, yeah, one like hub or whatever the heck it's called, right? Like it's confusing. There's too much stuff out there. Well, in this video, we're gonna show you how to use Microsoft, the brand new feature, Microsoft Tags to get you organized and add more structure to data and make it more discoverable and usable for your users. All right, so if you're brand new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Hopefully you're gonna like this content. Let's get into it. Oh, leave comments, all that good stuff, like actually means something and matters. So uh, we're gonna dive right into this stuff. Like, let's go, okay. All right, Microsoft tags. Brand new functional functionality that's out there, okay? So the whole purpose of this is to make your tags more discoverable so you can start to see these tags from all different areas, workspaces, filter view, item view, file cards, lineage view, global search. These tags are gonna make your data super discoverable, okay? Now, three different functionalities we're looking for, for to do at the admin level. It's gonna be your create and manage. So this is only your fabric admins. So create, rename, or delete tags that all gets done in the admin service. Applying the tags can be done to anyone who's a right, who has right capabilities on it, right? So just anyone could go ahead and write it. But uh, enough of like talking, let me actually pull over uh, fabric and show this to you. Okay, so I go in my portal. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head over to my admin portal. And I've got this brand new functionality right here. It is tags, okay? It's now in preview, so just FYI, right? But I'm gonna click on tags and I've got some items here. It says, hey, some like a nice UI, but create your first tags here. So we're gonna click on create your first tag. It's gonna ask me what I'm gonna do. Now, here's a little pro tip. Uh, you're gonna you can have up to ten thousand tags, so like you can have a lot of these. Uh, unfortunately, this is the only UI to manage them today. Uh, but you, you're gonna need lot. You're, you're gonna be able to create lots and lots of these tags. Okay, what I'm suggesting you do is follow along with what your domain pattern is. And so, if you're you have domains out there, your first set of tags should be to follow these domains that you have. So I've got sales marketing, IT global, sales restricted, okay? Now restricted itself could be its own tag, but uh, follow the organization. Now you're gonna have your content, it's going to be organized and managed by domains, but these tags will allow you to see data as, as sales starts to share information with HR or HR sales shares, uh, you know, lake houses to, to sales, right? You'll be able to see those tags and be able to get that lineage of items. So I'm actually gonna follow that exact same pattern. And what's nice, uh, and uh, let me try to zoom in here for you. We can enter tags names separated by commas. So I can do sales, comma, where's my marketing, IT, comma, global, and sales restricted, comma, sales restricted. Okay, I hit create, boom. We're gonna see that all of my sales uh, objects were created, fantastic. Now, if I wanna go in, and I wanna update any of, any of the objects, I just have to go into the workspace where, an, where I have, uh, like I'm an owner of those objects. So in this case, I'm gonna go over to workspaces and I'm gonna go to my filter and I've got my domain filters already in place. So I'm just gonna go over to my sales data, right? And look for, here's my sales data. I'm gonna head in and uh, I've got all my content in here. Zoom out a little bit. So here's my lake house. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna click on the ellipses there. I went pretty quick. Click on the ellipses right here. Oh, come on now. <laughs> Click on the ellipses, go to settings. And then under tags, I'm gonna be able to select the drop down apply and you know any items to that are applicable. So in this case, I'm just gonna select sales and be done with it. Now I've got my sales tag applied. Now What's cool is I can easily remove it, right? Like that's how easy it is to add and remove it. 
uh, super easy, barely an inconvenience. Uh, I could go ahead and add that in. And now, look at that. You can see the tag is appearing right on my object. So I can see that sales uh, tags is sales on there. I could do the same thing for these other objects as well. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Semantic model does not allow me to put a tag on it. How disappointing. All right, but my lake house does. Let's talk about my SQL endpoint tags. Oh, I don't have the right permissions on this one because it's inheriting from the parent. Uh, it's not something I'm creating. So, oh, interesting. So I could do it on the base, but not the derivatives. Let's see about the pipeline itself. If I go to the pipeline and settings tag, aha, I can apply it to the pipeline itself. Okay. So some limitations are out there, uh, relatively easy to go and apply them. Now let's say I, uh, I, I want to go back into my admin portal and I want to, uh, uh, head into my tags and let's say I want to rename. All I do is click on that, uh, the little ellipses down there, right? Click down the ellipses and I could click on rename and it'll allow, give me a prompt of what I want to rename it. Now, uh, we're going to call this one sales video and rename. So this has now been renamed to sales video. I heard it could take up to 10 hours to replicate, but let's see. Boom. Sales video already there. You're this is live. No fuss, no must, no magical stuff. Uh, it's, it's all in place. So it's all good to go. We are set. All right. Now. I'm super excited about the, all the different opportunities this gives my organization and the, the clients I work with uh, to better organize, govern, and manage their data because this now makes these objects available and easy to see all over the place. Like I just showed you the tags in the workspace, but you can see a lineage view. You can see it in uh, the One Lake Data Hub. You can see it all over the place. Super easy to access, super easy to work with. It's something I'm really excited about. Uh, if you're excited about tags and how it's gonna bring your organization to yourself, why don't you leave a comment down below? Let us know how you're gonna use tags and let's figure out what the best practices are gonna be for how we tag items. Uh, little tip, a restricted tag should be one of the first ones that you publish uh, so people can tag items as restricted so people know, uh, let's treat this one a little more sensitive, all right? Now, I'm super excited about this, you know, I hope you guys find this really interesting. If you're finding all this stuff like way too difficult for you, like this is too much for you, reach out, happy to help you out. Like if you actually need like consulting services, head over to creosbi.com, click on get me a data god, and one of us will, will reach out to you and help you out right away, all right? You have the best day ever, peace. Baker Tilly Digital combines strategic industry insight and advanced technical expertise to uncover and solve your digital transformation challenges. If you're interested in learning more, check out our website at bakertilly.com digital.